Do you know how great it felt that I knew where I was going? Imagine the majority of people don't know where they're going. I knew where I was going, that I'm going to become this bodybuilding champion just like him. So it was just a question of how do you do it? I was so relieved because when you have a goal, when you have a vision, everything becomes easy. So I felt so blessed that I knew what I was doing. It's like a medical student that studies and knows he wants to become a doctor. You know where to go. So I knew where to go. So people always ask me, when they saw me in the gym in the pumping iron days, they said, why is it that you're working out so hard? Five hours a day, six hours a day, and you have always a smile on your face. The others are working out just as hard as you do, and they look sour in the face. Why is that? And they told people all the time, I said, because to me, I'm shooting for a goal. In front of me is the Mr. Universe title. So every rep that I do gets me closer to accomplishing that goal, to make this goal, this vision turn into reality. Every single set that I do, every repetition, every weight that I lift will get me a step closer to turn this goal into reality. So I couldn't wait to do another 500 pound squat. I couldn't wait to do another 500 pound bench press. I couldn't wait to do another 2,000 reps of sit-ups. I couldn't wait for the next exercise, for the next half hour of posing and all the kind of things that you have to do to be a champion. So let me tell you something, visualizing your goal and going after it makes it fun. You got to have a purpose no matter what you do in life. You got to have a purpose. So that's rule number one, have a vision. Rule number two is, don't listen to the naysayers. Everything I ever did, the thing that I heard out of people's mouth was, that's impossible. That can't be done. Or no. I remember when I want to be a bodybuilding champion, including my parents and everyone else around me, said this is impossible. When I become a ski champion, that's what they do in Austria, or a bicycle champion, they do some track and field. You can't be a bodybuilding champion. That is exactly what I heard. Of course, I proved to the people that it can't be done. So whenever someone said to me, it can't be done, I heard it can be done. When they said no, I heard yes. And when they said it's impossible, I heard it is possible. I'm a strong believer of what Nelson Mandela said, that everything is always impossible until someone does it. Well, I'm going to be the one I said to myself, I'm going to do it and I'm going to show it to them. Maybe it has never been done before. That's perfectly fine with me. But I'm going to do it. I visualized this for myself. When I was selling copiers door to door, I had a very clear vision of what my life was going to be like. And I encourage everyone to do it. Uh, take a snap photo of what success looks like for you. Are you, how many employees do you have? Are, how much are you making? Where do you live? What, are you sitting at a table with world leaders? Are you standing on a stage in New York City giving a speech? And hold on to that, that snapshot and you will subconsciously start to make decisions that get you there. And so my snap photo for myself when I was going door to door to sell copiers was to be self-employed, invent a product that I could sell to lots of people and not just one copier to each person and create a business for myself that would continue to fund itself if I wasn't present. I wanted money to be generated without me having to be there. I was that specific in my vision. A very powerful meditation and mindfulness practice, visualization has been used for centuries to help prepare the mind, the body, and the consciousness for upcoming challenges, situations, and circumstances. Some of the world's greatest athletes use visualization as a way to prepare for big games, the big day, musicians for their new concerts and tours, and CEOs for their very important meeting. Be the formula that we've all been looking for. Often we get forced into action without visualization and although that really gets us going and that practice really does make us perfect that visualization can start the process with more confidence more conviction and more courage